Good morning, gang. Grab your Bibles, your notebook, and your pen. We are still in Psalm 103. Um, and this is the psalm where we're writing a list of all the things that God is and God does for us. So let's start this one off again with my God, with a semicolon, dot, dot, my God. What, what more does he do for us? Okay, we listed he forgives all my sin. He heals us. He redeems me. He paid me, paid back. And he crowneth me with loving kindness and tender mercies. Did we get to that one? Yes, we got to that one. All right. Had to look and see. All right. So we are in verse five today. So let's start in verse five and see what more we can find out about God. Okay. Who satisfieth thy mouth with good things. Guess what? God feeds us. Is that cool? My God feeds me. Now, he not only supplies my, my physical body with food, he supplies all of our needs. Gang, that's amazing. If we ask him to, he takes care of our everyday needs. But he also gives us his word to feed us spiritually. He feeds me. So my God feeds me. Okay, he is a great shepherd. And good shepherds take the sheep to the field to get the good green lush grass, not the dry crusty stuff that we've had all summer. Okay, no, he feeds me. He satisfies my mouth with good things, not with bad gross garbage. No, he, he feeds us the good stuff. So that the the so that thy youth is is renewed like the eagles. He wants us to be strong Christians. He doesn't want us to be weak Christians that don't know anything about His Word. That's why He's given it to us. It says the Lord executeth righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. Now we talked about that already. That God is going to judge the earth. It says He He made known His ways unto Moses and His acts unto the children of Israel. The Lord is merciful. And we've talked about this, haven't we? We're going to talk a lot more about that because the next few verses from 8 through 11 tell us the next big thing about God. God is merciful and gracious. Okay, he's merciful. That means we deserve punishment, but he's withholding it. He's saying, okay, you deserve punishment, but this time I'm going to be merciful. I'm not going to punish you this time. I'm going to send my son. He's going to die to take care of your sin. And that's going to pay for your punishment. That will take the place of your punishment. So he's merciful. He's gracious to us. He is slow to anger. Now, it doesn't say that he's without anger. Because we know that God gets angry, doesn't he? What does he get angry at? I hope you said it, sin. He gets angry at sin, and we should get angry at sin in our own life. When we see sin, we should get angry at it. And you know Papa has talked to you about that a lot. So the Lord is merciful. Write that down. The Lord is merciful. He is gracious. He is slow to anger with me. Instead of going, what did you just do again? No, he doesn't do that. He's slow to anger, and he's plenteous in mercy. He's so merciful to us. Let's keep looking at it. He will not always chide. Neither will he keep his anger forever. Okay, so his anger is not good. The mercy has a limit. Okay. He hath not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. That means he's not going to make us pay for all those sins we did. That's why he sent his son to pay for those sins. For as the heaven is high above the earth, Okay, think about that. How high up does the heaven go? We have no clue, do we? It could go e infinitely high. As high as the heaven is above the earth, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. Do you fear God? Do you honor him? Do you respect him? As far as the east is from the west... Okay, think about it. Think of the globe. You get at one point, that's east, and you, you start going, and it's 
always going to continue to be east. <laughs> you go the other way and it's always going to be can continue to be west. As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our transgressions from us. He's, he's taken our sins so far away that we'll never see him again. He has forgiven them. Once God forgives our sins, it's done with. It's in the past. Ooh, there are so many people that I've dealt with that I wish they could understand this. Once they've asked God to forgive them for something, it's in the past. Now, if we're continuing to, to sin and continuing to do that over and over and over again, then we're bringing it back up. But if it's in the past, it's in the past. God's forgiven it. That's how great his forgiveness and his mercy is to us. Our God is merciful. And he forgives our, he removes our sin as far as the east is from the west. You might want to remember that. Oh, you might be hearing that again or reading it again in a question here in the future. It says, like as a father pitieth his children, so the Lord pitieth them that fear him. For he knoweth our frame and he remembers that we are dust. I want to remember that too. I'm not sure which question I'm going to choose today. <laughs> I like both of them. He remembers that we're dust. Do you realize that he made us? You think back on, Ab on Adam and, and he, he made Adam out of the dust of the earth. We are nothing but dust. We're just dust. God made us from dust and he remembers that. He's like, Oh, that poor little human. They're just dust. I know you're imperfect because dust is imperfect. It's dust. But he loves us and he has mercy on us. He remembers that we are just dust. I want to remember that. I love you. I hope you're having a great day. And remember, I miss you. Bye-bye.